Hello and welcome. You are watching the Times of India. I am Lalin Mehta. It's been a day of student marches in Delhi with marches and counter marches over Gurmeher Kaur, the young girl from Lady Shri Ram College who posted a, a video online on the ABVP and the Ramjas College controversy. And now today she's finally left Delhi after receiving threats, after receiving threats of rape, after minister after minister from the uh, Narendra Modi government has issued statements about this issue as well. Uh, we're going to be talking about is this whole issue being overhyped? This is after all a young college student, uh, college going girl uh, who's expressing a point of view. Uh, with us is uh, Harsha Singh from the Times of India's online team. Harsha, summarize for us quickly because today a lot of celebrities and a lot of other people who have nothing to do with this Rao have joined in and there have been various political marches by different student organizations in Delhi. Just summarize for us first before we discuss the ramifications of this, what's happening and, and what are the reactions and counter reactions to this? Uh, so I'll take you through it very quickly. Gurmeher is a student of Delhi University from uh, LSR. She uh, basically is, has been very vocal about it, uh, the, Ram, the ABVP clashes which happened at Ramjas College and, uh, yeah. and uh, she has been talking about it a lot. So uh, people have been, obviously people have been trolling her and uh, there was this video which was posted last year. It wasn't even a video which happened this year and she has been actively part of an uh, uh, organization called Postcard for Peace and uh, this was a video part of that only campaign. And uh, this states that, uh, that you know, she basically talks about her experience as the uh, as a child of a Kagan martyr. Well, that's been so quoted. Hold that yeah. Why don't we actually see that video first and then yeah. we we'll look at the reaction and counter reaction and to look at uh, is this an overreaction or not. If I can ask our producers to play that video. Yeah. Right, we stop that over there. I think this is a long four and a half minute video. What's happened is that people have taken a small part of it, the part which says war didn't, Pakistan didn't kill my father, but, but Pakistan did. Uh, but the video is part of a larger context. If you can summarize for us, um, Harsha, uh, quickly if you can see the Times of India live blog, the yeah. kind of reactions and the controversy it has created today. So, uh, as we know that there has been a protest even today at uh, outside Khalsa College in Tiru and uh, there have been many reactions which have been coming out like one of these reactions is from uh, uh, yeah, Rishankar Prasad and he has said that Bolne ki azadi ka pura saman hai par uske kawaj mein agar aap Bharat ko tordne ki baat karenge uska jawab diya jayega well this is very sad if somebody expresses themselves it's, it's, it's right. yeah so there are two views on this. Kiran Rijiju, the, the Minister of State for Home, has also given a point of view. Mm -hmm. So the the counter view to this is that that she is expressing a point of view, which she's not being anti-national. Mm -hmm. Whereas those uh, who are criticizing her are saying that she's being anti-national. Yes, it's become exactly. a, a divide on this. And uh, then uh, it basically started with how you know uh, when she posted the video, uh, there were like can you scroll up? Uh, and there were these uh, people like uh, Sebab and. Uh, Radeep Huda, who have like nothing to do with the campaign. So let me ask you one yeah. thing, uh, as a young woman, um, the, the the threats of rape by online trolls, uh, a complaint that's been filed with the Delhi Commission for Women, it's become a political issue. Uh, yeah. Congress and AAP are supporting her. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people have said, well, she retweeted NSUI or Congress handles. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see the politics of this as a young woman? So as a young woman who's out here in, you know, trying to have a political opinion about things, like. So initially, what Randi Puda said that you know you posted something about peace, but it's not—it's not—it's no more a video on peace. It's a political video now. So I basically. Want
want to question this fact that as a woman, do I not have a right to express my own political opinions? Oh. And uh, I guess the major uh, uh, threat comes to her because it's because she is a woman. And I think uh, ABVP goons for them, it's very easy to just go around uh, giving threats to any any woman out here saying that, you know, uh, you'll be raped right. and you'll Hold be threatened. On. So uh, let's just quickly see what the political reaction, counter reactions have. Of this, Harsha. So if I can ask Sanjeev Singh to join, to join us for the uh, political analysis of this. So this is a fast developing political story with different ministers with the central government now expressing their point of view. Thanks so much, Harsha, for that Thank update. You. If we can go to our uh, to our slides, uh, if I ask our producer to go to our slides. Um, Nalik, uh, just to yeah. update our viewers, uh, one FIR has been filed by the Delhi Police. Right. Of course, uh, it has been filed against unidentified uh, persons. Uh, so far, so so some sort of action has been taken, but you know uh, the way uh, the way things are, uh, I don't think much will come out of it. Mm -hmm. Also, to put this that entire video in perspective, when we, that video is about at least a year old. Mm -hmm. At that time, uh, you know, India and Pakistan were not at war, mm -hmm. and at that mm -hmm. time, in fact, the our, of the LOC, yeah. our prime minister had broken protocol and gone and visited the Pakistani prime minister as mm -hmm. well at that time. Mm -hmm. So things were a lot different. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, for someone to pull out a video uh, of, of of a setting when things were very, very different mm -hmm. and then post it now, I guess that's the sort of thing that... The other point also is, Sanjeev, that we can all have different points of view on what she said or didn't say. Like, for example, the veterans groups from Punjab, for example, many groups are saying they're backing completely, army wives are backing up. There are others who are saying, who are questioning what she said. There are other groups also who are, not just political groups, but veteran groups also are taking sides on this. At the end of the day, whatever your view on this, you can't really threaten a young girl with rape. I mean, that's just completely beyond the pale. And, <clears throat> of course, that goes without saying, but the fact is that, you know, we've got our ministers, we, uh, our Minister of State for Home, Kiran Rijiju. Yeah, yeah, he's talking about the girl's mind being polluted. You've got uh, Venkaya Naidu. Hold, hold a sec, uh, we've got a video from Kiran Rijiju. He's spoken again today on this issue to our channel, sister channel, the Times, uh, the Times Now Network. If you can quickly play that. Uh, She should be allowed to do whatever she wants. She's a young girl. Let us not disturb her. My only request is, don't insult the martyrs. Don't give any space to those people who celebrate when our Jawans get killed. That's all. That was Kiran Rijuza. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so the point I was trying to make is that, you know, uh, this is not an issue where, where you know, our ministers should, should have actually jumped the gun. They should have waited to verify these facts and whether it's true or not. And, uh, you know, when he says that we should not uh, bring down the morale of our army and everything, yes, we all respect that. But the fact is that, you know, the video, the timing of the video was such that at that time everyone was talking about peace between India and Pakistan. Yeah. In fact, our Prime Minister himself had gone and broken protocol and yeah. gone to visit uh, and, uh, the uh, Pakistani Prime Minister. <coughs> So in that sense, you know, people need to be uh, made aware of the fact that the video is old. It's not a current video that has come out. And uh, if, and as far as the Ram, see, the whole thing started with because there was going to be a debate where, she, uh, where uh, people from JNU were coming. You had uh, Umar Khalid and Shaila Rashid coming. He's so, going to speak about his research on Bastar. Yeah. So. At the end of the day, what is the harm in listening to the other points? Uh, and there were different point points of view which are represented there. Let me, uh, let, let's take a, yeah. some comments. We're getting a lot of comments as we speak. Inder Singh says, these rogue netas are politicizing the issue. Media has got a new game to play. Uh, tearing the secular fabric of the nation but stupidly discussing nationalism in, in such a shameful manner. Uh, Prashant Bhajwaj says, it's all happening for a political space for that girl. Because if she's really getting threatened, she'll lodge an FIR. Actually, FIR has now been filed, as you said. And the Delhi but it's, of, it's been filed against unknown persons. Yeah. We all know what happens to FIRs that are filed against unknown persons. Mm -hmm. They just, uh, you know, it's, it's just a procedure that's followed and at the end of the day you get nothing. Mm -hmm. So, let me ask you a question. This is some of the comments we are also getting about and as the original question we asked, ultimately this is a young college girl, she's about 20 years old. She has put on a Facebook video or a, or a video on YouTube which has led to all of this and it's a year old video. Are we overreacting completely? Well, I would say to a large extent, yes, because the only thing she put out right now was that she's not afraid of EBVP. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, someone just managed to pull out an old video and upload it onto social media. And then we've got all the trolls coming in that she's anti-national 
and now the work started. Yeah. Now the fact is that uh, that video is not a, you know, it's not being shot right now. It's it's, it's about a year old. Yeah. Things are a lot different at that time. Yeah. If we want to talk about AVP, fine. Let's let's have a discussion mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. But let's not pull videos out from. So uh, let us see the, the kind of reactions we've been getting from various BJP leaders. So this is a um, this is a tweet put out by the BJP MP from my Suru, uh, who's a soldier's daughter. Now, can we please see that? Uh, yeah. So this is a, the other one by him. Um, so they, see, then this this is uh, you know this is the problem that personally I have is that you know. Without verifying the facts of the video, you have jumped in and made these comparisons. Mm. Now, what is the need to, uh, what is the daring hurry to do all this? Yeah. You are a member of parliament, you are a minister. You have all the, you know, you have resources at your end to be able to verify these things. Mm. And at the end of the day, you need to send out a message that, you know, we are, we are, we are a country which respects different mm. kinds of opinion. And Gurmohir is, uh, I think he's talked on the media since yesterday, she's left the city, she's saying that, look, I've shown enough bravery, I'm leaving. Because ultimately, it's too much of attention, uh, too much media attention, too much of political attention. There's a whole battery of um, BJP spokespeople, but also ministers, Ravi Shankar Prasad, uh, Kiran Rijiju, um, uh, this particular MP, Pratap Sima, yeah. a whole bunch of celebrities like Yogeshwar Dutt and uh, Virendra Seva today. Even the Pogart um, sisters. Pogart sisters. On the other hand, there's been a, 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 a volume support also from a number of people, including you see, largely, Yeah, see, largely the problem has been that uh, People have just, people just know that, oh, you know, she has said something uh, which is favoring Pakistan. But mm -hmm. that's not the case. Yeah. You need to see the video in its entirety, that's not being shown. Yeah. And plus, it's it's out of context. So, you know, that's why this, uh, as far as the comments are concerned, Ashutosh Raut has written that, I think media plays a big role in making the situation more worse. Mm -hmm. Because leaders of Asia, of AISA and ABVP are trying to get popularity mm -hmm. by using their followers and the media. Mm -hmm. So please try to avoid telecasting this. Right. So we are telecasting this so that we can put things in perspective. And we've already spoken about it to the fact that the video is quite old and you've, you've not seen the entire video in its entirety. Mm. We would request everyone to see the entire video and then form their opinions on mm. it. Mm. So uh, in, in the end, we have a Times of India cartoon as also which was published today. If we can, if we can go to that one. Uh, this is something that the Times of India put out today uh, on the on just how everybody has jumped onto this bandwagon. Yeah. So, uh, in fact, you know, I think things got more complicated when Virin Seva uh, jumped in, and then he, he's also got told to a large extent on, on this. Yeah. So, uh, our only suggestion would be that, you know, rather than jumping to these conclusions quickly about someone being anti national or not, it, it would have. See, and also there, there, there is a point being made by the government spokespeople that. Anybody, uh, like, like Arun Jaitley, for example, is speaking in the LSE, the finance minister, he said that, look, uh, campuses cannot be, and I'm paraphrasing here, mm -hmm. they cannot be places for subversion. If you, ha if you have a freedom of speech, then those who defend the nation also have the, uh, the freedom of speech, and you have to accept that. Uh, I, I don't think anybody's questioning that. I think everybody has a yeah. right to speak. What people are questioning is violence and, and threats of violence. That's, exactly. I think that's what this debate yeah. really is about. Yeah. It's not about yeah. left versus right yeah. uh, or any of that. It really is about the uh, the level. Uh, it's really about preserving the um, the ability to speak up from either side. It, it's not about supporting a position A or B or C. And we should have the resilience and the patience to be able to hear the other person's point of view. I mean, there just can't be a particular opinion. That's the foundation of democracy. To without without be feeling intimidated with violence or getting violent. Uh, comments coming in, Satish Bachu says, it's very sad that this girl is harassed. I can understand her intention of spreading peace with Pakistan. Someone should guide her while Pakistan is hitting us so much and killing us. Mm -hmm. War is not a solution. Mm -hmm. Satyajit Sokur says that Times of India is also part of anti-BJP and media is, or big, is big responsible for making this issue worse. Vishal, he says, now I understand why Ornab left you guys. Well, I think opinions in any case are always going to be divided on this on this issue. Uh, uh, our, our position is very clear. We are not about supporting X or Y. We are just saying that this, as a liberal democracy, this is a space for equal um, um, equal opportunity by every, every political position, whether left or right or center, without the threat of violence and, and intimidation. Yeah, and you know, one of the basic tenets of democracy is that you know, until unless you have a thriving opposition, democracy democracy cannot function properly. Right, and uh, 
that's how it should be. Like even in parliament, we we see we have these fiery debates. What comes out of it? We, we you get a lot of constructive thoughts that come out of it. On that note, we will have to uh, call a halt on this discussion. Thanks so much for watching. I'll keep watching the Times of India for live updates.